okay guys in last videos I have showed examples about alcohols that was one functional group in this video I'm going to discuss about two functional groups when you face two functional groups how you are going to use retrosynthetic analysis to reach your target molecule this is our target molecule which contains two functional groups I have highlighted with blue and red color the blue color is called acetals and the red color is alkene alright so when we will do analysis of this compound we will disconnect both our functional groups in such a way to reach our to our target compound so first step in this strategy of retrosynthesis is to do analysis analysis and to start with you select your compound which is given to you right and then do you do disconnection like this a disconnect from the both sides that is called FGI why because you are converting acetal functional group into alcohol or you can say CO disconnection because you are disconnecting from carbon and oxygen bond so it disconnected into two components one becomes acetone because acetals are the protecting groups for aldehyde or ketones same is go for hemiacetals same like similar to this now you have this thing as this another one you have alkene part as such and then we will have the diols you know because you can't just make the acetal without alcohols and you need to have two diols okay so this is this and you put plus sign there all right you do disconnection of this further you disconnect this from this area this area this one and this one two disconnections that is you write two times C C disconnections so both of the parts of alcohols become formaldehyde members so O OCH2 that is your formaldehyde CH2 one one from one side and the other one from the other side right and the last part like in retrosynthesis you will have a aldehyde or ketone uh, but two things will be common in every disconnection that is one part will become electrophilic and other part will become nucleophilic so electrophilic part is the formaldehyde and the nucleophilic part will be the acetylene so if you know the basic chemistry what the acetylenes the hydrogens of acetylene are acidic so we can deprotonate them and then they will act as a nucleophile so what this was the disconnection and now we are going towards the synthesis we will start from this acetylene okay let me put the heading for you guys you can put it by the way if you haven't subscribed this channel please do so and put your comments and about the videos and suggestions any likes I will appreciate if you share it with your friends you know to spread the knowledge of chemistry okay so you use base to deprotonate deprotonate one of the hydrogens and then you react formaldehyde that is CH2O and you do you use any base to deprotonate it based on your availability in the lab when you are practically doing it but when you're theoretically doing it you can put any base sodium or oxide to say the least or LDA or sodium hydride these are the number of bases you can put here 
what they will do this is the forward direction we are going now they will not give you this molecule but there is a trick in this one this will give you product with a triple bond okay this one now what we have done we replaced this hydrogen with we replaced this hydrogen with formaldehyde this one and this one also okay okay so we so this one and formaldehyde is converted into OH this one this one and if you want to reduce it you can do so as you know reduction of alkynes will give you the alkenes by using reducing agent H2 PDC using barium sulfate as a these are the reducing reagents cocktail so what you need to do is do this and you put the double bond here instead of triple bond now because you reduce the triple bond okay so okay let me redraw the whole structure now but by the way we I don't need to redraw I can take this one oh it's to save the time yay okay I remove these curly arrows okay now the last step is the first step in the retrosynthesis when you do synthesis the first step of retrosynthesis becomes the last step of the synthesis or the first step in backward synthesis becomes the last step in the forward synthesis I hope you got it so you mix these in a acidic environment uh, acidic environment or you just write it proton H plus you know that indicates this uh, and this is under the acidic conditions easy okay and then you reach your target molecule if you don't understand the mechanism of these any of these reactions feel free to put your comments below in this video and I will try to come back to you by making another video for reaction mechanisms so this is the target molecule turn 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 okay this is your target molecule TM okay that's it Control S, save the video. I hope you like this video and please give suggestions or comments if you have. Thanks for watching.